Hey, my family, where are they? What did you do with my family? Answer me! Just do us both a favor and pretend you're still asleep. I wouldn't start talking if I were you. You're lucky we do things a certain way. I'm already tempted to put a bullet in your brain for what you did to Lonnie back there. If we start talking, I'm gonna get angry. We still got a haul ahead of us, and I'm not about to listen to you. What the hell? Stop! Stop! Oh, shit! No, no, no! That's good. Just keep looking forward. Look, I'm no threat to you, okay? I surrender. Well, that's obvious. Seeing how you didn't shoot that guy. Okay, now don't do anything stupid. Because I'm not as nice as you. I won't hesitate. You're a kid. Whoa, wait, did you do that? With the tree? I was trying to stop the truck. Put your hands up and close your eyes. Look, I'm the victim here. We're all victims. Oh, so it's okay for you to rob me? This is payment for saving you. Hey, that's for my niece. She loves chocolate more than anything. I promised it to her. Please. Keep your eyes closed and count to a hundred before you go. Wait, just... My family. I need to get back to them. We were attacked and I don't... Look, I just need to know where I am. We were driving down the 522 and, and that's when we found the junkyard. They're still there. I need to get back to them. I know where that is. You said you were driving? In our van, yeah. I'll take you to the junkyard. If you let me have your van. I get you there in one piece, then I drive away. Look, 
You know it's worth it. Let's go. This really necessary? I don't know you, I don't trust you, and I'm not taking any chances. So it's safer for both of us if you're tied up. Glad we understand each other. The name's Javier, by the way. People call me Javi. Clementine. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Clementine. If you say so. You don't want to talk? Fine. But how about you give me that gun back so I can at least defend myself? For all I'd know, you'd turn around and use it on me. Either way, I still don't know the first thing about you. Muertos. The herd caught up with us. What do you call them? Walkers. Well, what do you call the ones that run? They're all fucking walkers, okay? Look, I'm just... I'm not used to being around other people. Not for a while, anyway. Usually, it's just me on my own. Sounds kind of lonely if you ask me. Well, I didn't ask you. And, anyway, I prefer it like that. So, who's at this junkyard? My brother's kids. And his wife. It's impressive, surviving this long. Not sure how you did it. Just keeping everyone together like that. Well, I didn't do it alone. My, uh, my, uh, Kate helped. She did most of the work, actually. Sounds nice. Having a partner. It is. Well, how about you? You must have been pretty young when this shit started. I was. But some people looked out for me, too. What happened to them? Same thing that happens to everyone. Shit. We can't stay here. There's a town up ahead. We can stay there until the herd passes. Otherwise, we're walker food. Can you do that, please? <sighs> Here. Don't make me regret this. Come on! Get your ass! 
Come on, now! God effing damn it, Francine. One of these days, those doors are gonna close and your ass will be on the other side. <laughs> yeah, and when that day comes, Trip, I promise I'll eat you first. It's Clementine, right? You staying a while this time? No. Once the walkers pass, I'm taking this guy to a junkyard off the highway. My family might be trapped there. Hiding from some very bad dudes. Well, shit. I'm truly sorry to hear that. This herd rolled in pretty quick. We're hoping it's gone just as fast. So, just keep your heads down and steer clear of trouble. You got me? There's too much going on outside the walls tonight. I'm not the one you should be worried about. Well, you know the score around here, Clementine. Don't do anything that would make me want to pick you up and throw you the fuck out. And I won't pick you up and throw you the fuck out. My boots weigh more than you. Now head on in. I got shit to do. Well, welcome to Prescott. It's a pretty cool place, actually. Built from an old airstrip, I guess. The people, on the other hand, they're not my favorite. Usually I'm in and out as quick as I can manage. Not exactly an option this time, though. It's just a pit stop, okay? We're gone as soon as there's a window. I hope that window comes soon. In the meantime... Hey, Javi. What's... what's up? My family... they're still out there. If you guys made it this long, I I'm sure you know... they'll know what to do. Hopefully. Let's go. This way. I gotta see a guy about some bullets. Jeez. I haven't been in a place like this since... Well, you know. It's just like the old days. Listen, I gotta take care of something. Hang tight. Well, wait, wait. Well, what should I do? I don't know. Why don't you make some friends? Looks like someone's in the middle of a game. Well, he's not going anywhere. Play your hand. You're gonna lose, but you don't have to do it in slow motion. Don't try and rush me. <laughs> I know your game. This is my game. Clearly. Always a smart ass. Well, it ain't gonna work. Excuse me. Oh, you again. <laughs> you got some moves. I'll give you that. Hold on a minute. Don't I know you from somewhere? I don't know. Maybe. Garcia. Javier Garcia. For what it's worth, I think you got screwed on the gambling thing. A lifetime ban. Shit. Should have had a 20-year career. The way I see it, nothing wrong with betting on yourself to win. <laughs> and that got a lifetime ban? Honestly, I don't even think about it anymore. Past is the past. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, I'm Conrad. This here's Francine. He runs the place? I just take his money. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe I'm just letting you win. Oh, actually, if you're the gambling type, game's poker. Five card stud. I'll raise you. What do you think? Should I call or should I fold? Hm. 
Hmm, don't get too intimidated. I lose more often than I care to admit. Though all it takes is one good hand. Hmm, fold. Doesn't feel right. Hmm, go with your gut. Fold. Now that's a shame. Let's see how it could have gone. You folded that. <laughs> Unbelievable. Good looking hand there, but not good looking enough. Whoa, thanks for the warning. No problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean it. That could have cost me. How's about a drink? On my tab. Bottoms up. Wow, man, this smells like turpentine. <laughs> That's the weak stuff. Don't turn away from me. I'm talking to you. Oh, shit. Hey, what's the point in talking when I already told you a deal is a deal? And it's done. What's going on? This guy ripped me off. I traded him a crate of perfectly good batteries, and he gave me a box of bullets that won't fire. He could have gotten both of us killed. Oh, yeah? And who the fuck are you, a bodyguard or something? Because I don't scare easy, all right? And I don't respond to threats, neither. Damn right. So you better figure out a way to fix this. And I mean real fast. Uh, well, you can't even prove those are the bullets I traded you. Oh, hey, Clem, come on. He knows the bullets don't work. Listen to him. He's not even nervous. I could have died because of his bullets. Oh, I'm fucking believable. Look out! <laughs> Hey, listen. Let's all cool down, huh? You were acting crazy. I was too. We just got a little out of hand. That's all. Just give me what I'm owed. Jesus. You've got to get her under control, man. This ain't no way to do business. We had a deal. All right, hey, okay, all right, so, hey, we'll, we'll trade back. I'll find some batteries. I don't need batteries. What I need are bullets that won't get me killed. Oh. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. Drop the gun. Right now. Say he attacked you and that he was going for his gun. I fucking warned you. Eli attacked him. I only shot because... Shut it. You done enough talking. Drop it. There's a herd out there, and you're firing off a fucking... What the fuck happened here? He attacked Javi, okay? It was self-defense. Enough from you. Did she really have to shoot? She was just demonstrating that the bullets he sold her were faulty, and the gun went off. What are you doing? All right, outside. You and me are gonna have a little talk. I'm telling you, he stop. was- Stop, just stop talking. And you, thanks for being straight with me. Go find Eleanor, she'll fix you up. Tell her trip sent you. Now move it. All right, all right. Here you go. Try and get some rest, okay? Thanks, Eleanor. Ugh, that looks like a nasty cut. Oh, that must have hurt. Well, you've come to the right place. I could use a doctor. You know one? I'm not a doctor, but these days, EMT is the best you're gonna get. Have a seat. I'll take a look. My name's Eleanor. Javier. You call me Javi. A little lower and you might have lost an eye. And that is not something you want to mess around with. I'm getting the feeling you've done this before. What makes you say that? You got the whole thing down pat. You know, gauze, antibiotics, charming bedside manner. Yeah, I've done it once or twice. 
a day. <clears throat> so, I have to ask, is it true? What's that? I heard you were with that girl, Clementine, who put a bullet in some guy's brain over in the hangar. Don't act so surprised. News travels fast around here. Nope. You got me mixed up with some other dude. Right. Must have been the other handsome young Latino stranger in town. Why is it always the pretty ones who end up causing the most trouble? <sighs> I've never understood it. Yeah. Well, it takes one to know one. One what? One pretty troublemaker. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you that one. Look, I know you didn't pull the trigger, but that girl, Clementine, there's something cold behind her eyes. I don't know. Maybe she's just a scared kid. I don't really know much at all. We just met a few hours ago. Hmm. Wait, I heard it. You two were pretty chummy before things got all out of hand at the hangar. She's helping me find my family. We were attacked earlier this evening. Oh, shit. Sorry. For family to make it this far? Not everybody gets that. Oh, you know how family is. Yeah, I get you. Let go of me! There you go. Trip, what's going on? Clementine and I had a little talk. He's letting us leave once the herd passes. Oh, I'm gonna do more than that. I'm gonna hightail you two to that junkyard myself. Cause frankly, I don't want her anywhere near this town. We'll leave sometime tomorrow, when it's safe. You two can spend the night here in the infirmary. I'll see you in the morning. Look, maybe there's another way. We've got a rear gate down at the other end of the airfield. We don't use it much, but, well, we could leave tonight, all three of us. Slip past the herd, get a jump start on reaching that junkyard. If your family does need help, I'll be right there to give it. What? Seriously? You do that for me. Us pretty troublemakers have to stick together, right? God, gross. Anyway, think about it. I've got to check on some patients, but I'll be back in an hour. Huh. Never would have guessed she had it in her. Yeah. She's... She's something. The thing is, I still trust Trip more than I trust her. But hey, it's your call. Once we get to the junkyard, I get my van and we go our separate ways. We're leaving tonight, with Eleanor. If it gets us there even a minute sooner, it's worth it. You know, when you're out on your own, you can never really let your guard down. I was expecting you to defend me. Instead, you threw me under the bus. You basically sold me down the river earlier. I'm sorry, all right? Things were crazy. It just seemed like the right thing to do. Well, next time, just follow my lead. <laughs> just goes to show you. You can never really count on anyone else. Clementine, I... I'm done talking. The doctor lady said she'd be a while, and I want to catch as much sleep as I can. Good night.